In the last section is Kulana Kawab, which is the warfare section. Here in this part, um, our presenters share again how the land and its people were governed through warfare. And with that, to keep balance between mind, body, and soul. And so in this section, you'll learn that uh, warfare wasn't always a bloody act, but mainly to keep peace. <coughs> The weapons. Now, the weapons are very sacred to the warrior. They never expose their weapons to another pair of eyes. So if I show you my weapons, the next time I see you in battle, you'd already know how to defend yourself, or at least know what I have behind my back. Now, these weapons were considered kapu or sacred, are made in a fashion of what we call noa, so that you're able to be in its presence, see them, touch them, and learn about them. Now, traditional times, your poor ran into warfare with two common weapons. One of them was the Ho'o'ihe, a spear that stood six to eight feet in length, very lightweight, very easy to use. We have larger spears, which are the Polulus, weighing over 20 feet in length. Your smaller spears, which are the Kaoleles, which are used for javelins, long range stabbing, or throwing. Now, your rare form of spear would have been the Ihe Laumeki. Ihe Laumeki is a barbed spear designed to break up into its target upon impact. Aloha, this is Kapono Kamana and you're watching MauiToday.tv.